This time what we will do is filtering and pagination in our products page. For example, if you go to the uh, cloud application that we have already created and deployed, I can filter by name by searching any product like this, Gloria. We want to add the filter text box over here. That is first thing. Second thing we want is the pagination. So for example, if I remove the filter, then you should be able to do a pagination saying that I want to show all six items here all I want to just show three item at a time and then I can go to the next page and next page and so on so all this pagination and sorting and filtering this is all inbuilt in angular material you can just leverage them so I'll show you how you can see from angular material it is available so if you go to angular material and table So here, there is an example, uh, I think you have to go to the examples and then keep going where they have a pagination and also they have a filter here, right? So if you see this filter example, so for filtering, we need to just put this mat form where you will basically type out your search thing and then in the TypeScript you will have to just apply the filter by saying apply filter function and in this apply filter function we will we will do the filter value we'll, you will get the filter value means whatever you are typing it that you will get it and it will you have to just assign that value into the filter property of the data source so that's way that way it will apply filtering logic to your data source so let's try out the filtering logic first so if I go back and see here, this one is the simple filter one. So let's check the simple one because here we don't have anything apart from the filtering thing. You can always go to the, the stack blaze link and you can check the entire code base also. So here it is easy to see what exactly they are doing. So if I go here, in order to put the filter, this is the text that they are using and what I can search is hydrogen if I, de, if I do, let me refresh my browser, okay. So this way it searches the hydrogen. So if I copy this and just paste it in our application, then it should I should be able to see this filter text box. So let's go to the products page, products component dot html and here after, and under this content before the table, I want to put the so we copied the entire mat form field area where we have apply filter and it takes the dollar event dot target dot value this dollar event dot target is basically the dom and from dom you are reading the value of it so wh whenever you are typing it will take the value and then it will call your apply filter function now in the typescript size uh, side what should we write so go to here and check the apply filter function copy this function and here I can put after ng on in it. That's it. So by doing this, you are done with your filtering. And here I have the filter. And now if I search for anything, I can search. Just one minute, within one minute you, you receive the entire functionality. So this is fun. So this way you can just apply the filtering using angular material, which is inbuilt functionality here. The other thing you can do is, uh, since if you see the project here, the project that is hosted which has the filter with, with the entire text box width, right? So we can apply the full width on filter text box as well. So here I can just say class, class equals to full width. And then it will match with our project that we hosted in the Heroku. Did we apply properly? So class full width is defined in products or not? It's not defined, right? I can create here full width as well. And sometimes if some class is used everywhere, you can you can create those class in the root level also, root CSS level. So I can see width 100%. So now I should see exactly like we have there. So I can search again. So this is the filtering logic. Okay. 
so next what we should do is the pagination so in order to apply pagination on angular material table how should we proceed so normally what i do is i again go to the angular material guidelines uh, this this where they have entire code base here so just check for the pagination where they have pagination so here in this example they are showing paginations options right here we can do go next and go next and items per page is 30 like this if you want the another option where you can just show how many uh, items per page you want to show that you want to change if then you can go with this example right so this is that example and then here you can do all of this so anyone you can choose and go let's check what we were doing here so we have like one two three of seven and then we have this and then we have the last ways to go and go to the first page all of this we had right so i think we we have this option this one table with pagination with all this advanced buttons so let's go to this stack please and check their html code so for pagination they just have this simple one element which says mat paginator and page size and then show last buttons show first last button is that the thing where you can directly jump to the last and the and the first this is that tag directive so i copy this html and go back into your products and put that into mat content table and you can apply let's check whether they are doing after they are doing after table so we'll go after table and put it here somewhere and in our case we want to go with um, uh, divisible by 3 let's say because we have less item items so i can say 369 you can always do 246 also because we have very few items for now for this demo so 369 will take care and then our application will start showing the pagination stuff only thing is since we are not applying the pagination from typescript side side we are not giving the numbers it is not showing here so let's go back to the typescript side of it and see what we are doing for paginating pagination so for pagination like like for sorting you just need to add the mat sort and then basically we we used to apply in the data source right data source dot sort equal to this dot sort similarly for pagination will apply the mat paginator and give some name get this mat paginator uh, thing here and then apply data source dot paginator equal to this dot paginator so that way you will be fine correct only thing is this static true sometimes does not work so just don't give it if it is not working so let's try to copy this code base from here so i take this view child since i already have a mat paginator here i can reference to this to this uh, paginator element let's go to the typescript side of it and put it before your constructor all properties you can define before constructor so that way you can keep the discipline this way so mat paginator we can import it from the material and this is static true somehow in my machine it is throwing this uh, compilation excep uh, exception error and i tried many options so it didn't work so what i did is i just removed this and it worked for me i don't know what exactly that static was doing so for now this is enough so this mat paginator and then you get the paginator as a local instance next what we should do is whenever we receive the data from the server and we are trying to load the data source with the products first apply all of the settings for example sorting paging all of this so we'll do pagination here so i can copy this code paste it here and we'll say paginate paginator equals to paginator so that's it so once you did this much then you are done so that way you are done so pagination should work out of the box let's check so now i am seeing just three items here and then i see this items per page where i can change 6 9 and then 3 and then go back like this come back and all of that i can see so this is it i don't think anything else you want to do so this is so simple 
So these are just two step process. One, you put the um, element in the HTML and then in the TypeScript, you just to apply the to the data source, paginated to the data source. Okay. So next, what we will do is uh, we, we finished our pagination filtering and we are good with our uh, this page, the products page. We are good with our products page. So let's start working on the core functionality of our project where we trying to add the item into the cart. So add item into cart and then sometimes you want to edit that item means edit the quantity of that item, delete that item. So let's write out, write down those functions basically. So those functions means like <coughs> add item, delete item and all of that. So one thing uh, we should remember that when we are updating the state of our cart state, if we are updating that, then it has to be reactive so that when we are updating the state, automatically components should get it, right? So you remember last time we did that uh, session where we were learning about the uh, reactive state management stuff and I demoed you the code base where we were changing the state and automatically subscribers were getting it. So that is what we want to achieve it here. So if I go ahead and so we want to create now this one. So this is what next we will see exactly. So we'll create a store and that way our components will get it. So let's see that in next. 